What makes a good film? What drives the greats? Scorsese, Tarantino, Spielberg, and smaller names like Neistat, McKinnon, and Joseph all come from somewhere. Where do they get it, their ideas? Inspiration can come from anywhere. This is something I've been told by countless people in the creative industry. But my issue is this something that comes from anything can't seem to find its mark with me. Maybe I want to make a romance. Or a thriller. Comedy, maybe? <laughs> Nobody told me Year 12 would be like this. Get into class to be greeted by my teacher. Hey kids, you gotta make a film. Oh, and you have to know what to do right now. Inspiration, script, storyboard, and shot list needs to be into me next week. Okay, this sounds good and well, only I don't know what I want to do. It was nice that who said story is king, but surely no one is capable of conjuring a story from nothing. It's harder now than ever to compete with the plethora of ever-growing content and talented individuals to create something that is meaningful and engaging. With audiences responding to film instantaneously and expecting to be engaged, it's no wonder the individual filmmakers of the world are rising in popularity. Besides, I don't even know how I'm going to make mine. Media narrative can be told through animation, newspaper, music video, or a flipbook for all I care, and if it's an enjoyable story, people will watch it, no matter how it's presented. The only issue is, I don't know what I'll make. So I set out to find exactly what it is that makes a good movie. Enter Benjamin Hall. Ben is a friend of mine who was immersed in the creative process. Even though he doesn't make conventional film, his continuous striving for improvement in his creative expression is inspiring and makes me wonder where he gets his ideas. Yeah. Look directly at me. Okay. And you tell me why you like the creative process. I like the act of drawing. <laughs> These patterns behind you on the screen, where does that come from? Uh, I don't know. You just, you get your pen and you, because you get to do what I want. A lot of freedom. I guess I like the idea of being able to put what is in my head on a, on a picture. So this is supposed to be natural, but there's nothing I want to share, nothing to tell, no story that is worth my time. The last thing I want to do is submit a completely meaningless plot for my YouTube film. What I need is a reference, someone who has done this before. Enter Dylan Bennett. Dylan Bennett is yet another good friend of mine who participates in the creative arts, and he focuses more on the cinematic format. So Dylan, how's it that you find the inspiration to tell the stories that you tell? Uh, personal experiences I have in my life and also the, the experiences that people you know that I know and people around me have as well um, and I think it's really important that you look at those those you know real real life issues um, and delve them delve into them in filmmaking because it, it can really help push a me message forward to, for people to um, to further understand um, for me I've always focused on like mental health and stuff like that so I think it's I think it's an issue that's very very prevalent in today's society um, and I think you know with the stigma surrounding it all I think it is important that uh, that message gets across to people and I think that can be done through filmmaking almost more than anything really and I think it's also important um, and also equally exciting in a filmmaking perspective looking at you know teenage life and and that transition you know from kid to adult and it's just always interesting having a look at those issues that teenagers deal with um, and for me personally I enjoy you know overall just making films about that stuff and getting those messages across. In summary the stories that I've told um, the stories that have actually happened to me and other people around me in my life and I think it's important that other people see these issues because you know they're certainly not alone um, with this, in terms of the stories that I tell. I think it's very important that people know that. What I realised by listening to these two people is one thing. They are stories of truth and passion, and out of this struggle, I've discovered the passion and the story that I want to tell. But that can't be done without first addressing copyright. See, essentially what I've just shown you is my folio. This is the story of exactly how I decided that I wanted to share my process, my story with you. See, in today's age, the golden age of media technologies, everyone with a camera can share their story to millions of potentially interested people. We don't have to worry about competition because our greatest competition is ourselves. How do we improve? How do we get better? Every story is worth telling, so tell it.
But at the end of it all, I still have no idea what I want to do for my year 12 media films.